artist Doug Pexa here. Welcome to season two. What an appropriate place to start season two. The exact same spot I ended uh, season two. And today I'm picking some green beans because well, some of them are ready and they are delicious. But today isn't about picking green beans or even the garden. Today I'm gonna talk about a stage in painting that I am calling the ugly stage. Meaning, the painting looks horrible. Uh, this is not a full on start to finish uh, time lapse, but I will be talking about art and how, how you develop a painting to the point of the ugly painting. If you give me a moment though, I wanna say, few things about season two. Season two is going to be a lot similar to season one um, but with some caveats. Uh, a, I'm going to be a little more focused. We're going to uh, talk a lot about art fundamentals. So those are the fundamentals of form, shape, composition, line, color, um, shade, shadow, and some technical skills that will make you, yes, you, a better artist. I also want to add a few things into uh, this, this vloggy thing that I'm doing, season two. And that is, I'm going to do some actual vloggy stuff wherever that takes me. But I do want to talk about, uh, well, gardening foraging, making food that's good and healthy for you and me because as artists we really need to take care of ourselves. I've got a little extra weight on me right now. Um, COVID doesn't help. No excuse. I am getting better. I also want to talk about the creative process and how to do that. So these are the things kind of want to move towards at some point. This is boring as shit. So let's go into the studio and for now I've got to pick some more uh, lovelies. So. so the summer painting is going to be down in uh, Raya Siena. It's just one of those light browns that I uh, grabbed. Usually do a burnt sienna or something in that thing. But I'm gonna start putting down shapes and moving them until I get what I want. Welcome to the voiceover. This painting here, uh, A, is a commission uh, for a good friend. And uh, they wanted a still life with coffee in it. That was pretty much the only direction I got. Um, in pressing, I asked, well, do you want it subtle? Do you want it uh, bold? Or do you like bold colors? What colors? Uh, or color themes did you want? And uh, they had said I wanted bold colors, kind of uh, primary palette, maybe a little bit off. So, and for all my new followers and uh, people, random people who are uh, just watching, uh, thank you, by the way. And I just want to talk about, normally I use a ground on the back of my paintings. So just some flat color, usually some muddy something that's left on the palette. This one, did it right from a white canvas. Um, and I use like a burnt sienna or a, a burnt umber or a, something like that, usually to kind of draw the composition out to give it a feeling of what it might be. And every artist has their own little way of doing this kind of thing. Uh, it's not uncommon 
for an artist to do bigger blocks right away. I kind of do the line drawing and then I start building blocks and then I build up layers. And the concept of this ugly painting is you start out with these basic blocks, you start maybe even molding it through and you build up a layer, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. And the painting may just look like absolute garbage. You want to throw it in the dumpster or burn it out back. Uh, but don't do that. Um, art is one of those interesting things as you work through the problems, the issues, you can change it. You don't have to have the painting be perfect right away. I mean, don't you get annoyed at these people? And, and I respect them immensely for their craft and their, their, uh, their skill. But the people who just have a blank canvas or paper and they just start from the middle or some part of the uh, thing they're drawing. Um, I'm assuming mostly from reference, but uh, it's okay. Um, and they just work their way out and it's like a perfect, beautiful thing right away. I have no problem with that, but that's not how most artists work. Most artists, in, in, including, uh, you know, very famous and very profitable artists, they will struggle with their paintings. Uh, they will hate their paintings even until they get through what I'm calling is the ugly painting stage. This painting here definitely has that. It has it at a couple different points actually, where I'm very unhappy with it. You know, basic blocks were down and that's where I'm gonna end, end the video. Uh, of this session is uh, kind of at the that first block where nothing seems to be working except you kind of see where everything is going. Um, and it's okay, you know, sometimes you get frustrated and it fights you. Sometimes you have to take that canvas down, put it aside for a day or two, let it dry a little bit, especially if you're working in oil, and then go back into it. Uh, this painting went from that really ugly stage and I couldn't figure out what was wrong and I kept on pounding it and pounding it and um, uh, the next video in this series of the ugly painting um, is actually me struggling through the composition and I'll talk about that in, in the next video of this series here and uh, it will really show you that you can edit or delete things out of there because if you look at kind of how this painting is everything seems to be round oval and it seems to be heavy on the right side and, and it was just driving me completely bonkers so let's get back to real time here there's always a point in a painting where it looks like shit and early in those stages, it should have an ugly stage. So don't fret. Let's see, everything's blocked in. And now I'm gonna start going back in to different areas and start really refining some of the things that I don't like so far. A big key, thanks puppy for barking. Um, big key to getting this right you know if you want it to look realistic however painterly or whatever you're doing take a moment step back look at it go get a drink of water come back look at it from afar and you will see oh this isn't right or that's not right you know um, yes I'm painting this impressionistically but I still want the forms to look like, you know, a coffee cup, you know, a piece of fruit, bowl, all that stuff. So this is the first layer, 
you know, there's a lot of art, a lot of young artists who will consider this close to done. No one here. I hope you liked the first episode of season two. Be a lot more of this where it's coming from. Ooh, it's gotten warm since the sun came up. If you did enjoy it, you know, everybody says it. You know, subscribe, do all that stuff. It really helps me out as a small YouTuber. Um, and you'll get to be notified when new content comes available if you want you know anywho not a big deal um, go out there there's a lot of starving artists that are really hurting right now go buy their work because they really really need some help right now um, I do have a full-time job so don't worry about me I'm good uh, but go buy some some art from some beautiful artists oh well, yeah all right we will See you next time and maybe, maybe we'll uh, fry these up and make something yummy with them. Mm -hmm.